Hey guys, family, Facebook community, just tuning in here from Nicaragua where I've been for the past month and I get the wonderful opportunity and privilege to come here once a year to gather with um, an international prayer family of mine and this year I was caring for one of my elders who's sick, um, so I was here just being in service. I'm sure you've read a little bit about that already. Um, heading back to the States on Monday and excited to be back home in my temple space, my community. But I wanted to just quickly tune in with you. Um, right now as I am getting ready to have this amazing seminar coming up next week called Earth Embodied Leadership Council. And I wanted to just talk a little bit about what Earth Embodied Leadership means to me and some of the things that we'll be exploring in that. and. I'd love to hear from you as well, questions that you have on the topic that I can answer, or just any general questions for me. So, earth embodied leadership to me really means a sense of, an embodied sense of deep interconnectivity to the land that we're on the ancestors and the spirits that were here before us, honoring them. It means to understand that our inner landscape and our emotional landscape is, um, is no different than what's going on on the outside of our world and in our ecologies. And the more that we can understand that what's happening on the inside is a direct reflection of what's happening in the world, the more we can not only better understand who we are as people, but also what our soul work is here on this earth. So earth embodied leadership to me is this rooted sense of having a having a good sense of reality of we're not we're not floating in the sky we're not a, we're not spirits we're in a body so what does that mean and how do we be in full integrity and right relationship with all of life and to truly embody our animal self. And of course that looks so many ways, but to me that really means doing our very best to, to know that the plants are alive and we can, have, we can build a relationship with them and we should because they're no different than we are. And if we care about the earth and we want to do good work in the world, we need to tend these relationships because everything is a relationship. We are on a relationship. Earth is a relationship. And we're traveling through the sky on. Therefore, tending those relationships with our ancestors, with plants, with the earth, and with other human beings can bring us into good, right, integrity, and relationship as leaders. And this is what we need right now in this time. Is we need grounded, centered, resilient, strong, good-hearted leaders who understand both the spirit realm and this earthly plane and how to humble ourselves and become a friend of everyone and anyone 
it's you know it's such a dance between guiding and being someone who has ideas dreams and visions and showing the way and knowing when to step out of the way to let others lead and take the reins humility integrity resilience groundedness compassion interconnectivity these are all the words that I would just use to describe earth embodied leadership and I'd love to hear from you what your thoughts are on what that word means to you earth embodied leadership and the areas that we're going to be exploring on February 14th which is next Thursday are traversing our inner landscape which really means getting to know the estuaries of our emotions and allowing, tuning into the waters within us, tuning into the fire within us, learning how to navigate and understanding, you know, where our mountains are, where our prairies are and what kind of nutrients that we need as individual ecosystems and understanding our our heart our heart's compass so that's one topic we'll be talking about with luna love who I'm such an honor to co-teach with and then we have ally with the earth and that really means to not just steward or tend the earth, but really build a relationship with it. Talk, talk to her, know her. Learn practices that can help you be in best relation, indigenous practices that can help you be in best relationship with earth land offerings when you're harvesting and best practices for ethical harvesting and things like that. And also plant and animal communication to learn, to understand that every, nature is speaking to us at all moments and all times and how can we listen to her. And then third, we're gonna be talking about cultivating a life supporting community. And I'm gonna be talking about that. And that really means imagining ourselves like plants in a garden and which plants do we need around us to help us grow, to help us be in our highest self, to grow and to nourish ourselves in that way and to cultivate regenerative relationships with other human beings that serve, that is a mutually beneficial, exponentially growing, supportive, loving, compassionate, empowering relationship, community in that way. Cultivating that, imagining what all the possibilities are of your most nourishing, supportive, good, centered, good-hearted community and how to create that and how to cultivate that in your life. So I'll be talking about that. And the final pillar will be with Gogo Ekaya, who is an amazing initiated Singoma healer of the South and South from South Africa. And she'll be talking about teaming with the unseen world. So I'm sure you can kind of understand already from that title what that might be. But really it's coming into good relation with the spirit world, with our ancestors, with, with our lineage, with our own roots. And wherever we are, whatever land we're on, to build a relationship with the original caretakers of the land, the ones who 
tended it and cared for it and cultivated it and um, were the original protectors of the different lands that we go on to create that beautiful allyship and partnership with the unseen world. So that's the fourth pillar. And so we're going to be exploring all of these topics on Thursday at 3 p.m. PST. I'm going to be putting the link in the caption here, but I highly recommend signing up if you are an entrepreneur, a leader, an aspiring leader, community um, activist, whatever it looks like, a guide to help root you and ground you into an earth-centered, humble, resilient way of being as a human being. Um, so I look forward to gathering with you. We already have like, I think almost 300 people signed up for it. And it's going to be quite an amazing opportunity. So it's free, take advantage of it. Please, please share, comment on this, ask your questions. Let me know how this was for you. And otherwise, have a beautiful day. Enjoy this weather wherever you are, whether it's cold or warm. And yes, thank you for tuning in. Bye for now.